Welcome back to class. Today we're going to learn about a principle that's taken for granted. I'm referring to David Ricardo's principle of comparative advantage. So please get out your notebooks and leave plenty of room in the margins. Yo, this economic point is non-trivial and true. Old heads need to know it, and the millennials too. Man, it's the basis for free trade. It's only known by these few. Comparative advantage, man, it's your Vietnamese shoe. It's a track that the world desperately needs About to smack you with the message of Ricardo And the message he pleads The lack of knowledge on the topic is depressing to see To free nations from bondage will be a blessing for me If you're doing everything better than anybody else You're trying to be self-sufficient About to drop the bombshell Impoverish your dwell Acknowledge your well Learn this concept Protectionism will be abolished Farewell to drink my morning coffee, dog, is really a treat. Imported from Rio in Brazil, where the soil is elite. Why don't we produce it in the USA and globally compete? Maybe we could, but we forgo the chance to produce some wheat. This lesson's clearly misunderstood. Just because you can't produce a crazy amount, don't mean that you should. There's an opportunity cost with the production of every good. Through the test of time, this idea has indestructibly stood. Don't gotta be best at anything to have gains from trade. If someone told you otherwise, man, you know you're getting played. The US exports planes, best believe it's the sure way, and we'll be importing Atlantic salmon stuff from Norway. Yo, you think this claim is outlandish, but it's the basis for the principle comparative advantage. It explains your sandwich and why we trade across the Atlantic, like billions of dollars of goods and services with the Spanish. It's the maximum of every family never to try, to make it home what it'll cost them less to buy. You don't see tailors making shoes, farmers ain't making ties. The gains from trade result from allowing folks to specialize. It's regarded in a private family as prudence. So choosing this content must lead to a nation's improvement. Join the movement. Tell your students, man, and any other humans, the USA can gain from voluntary trade with the Cubans, yeah. Comparative advantage, it's simple mathematics. Yeah, yeah, comparative advantage. Yeah, it's simple mathematics. Yeah, yeah, comparative advantage. It's simple mathematics. Yeah, 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 comparative advantage. It's simple mathematics. Now just to review, the gains from trade follow from allowing an economy to specialize. If a country is relatively better at making wine than wool, it makes sense to put more resources into wine and to export some of that wine to pay for imports of wool. Because it's relative advantage that matters, it's meaningless to say that a country has a comparative advantage in nothing.